Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in EU4. This is the Kale achievement run. Ottomans have rivaled us. Oh, that's, hey, that's fun. Yeah, cool. Uh, we're trying to work on the siege over here. Our glorious navy is under attack. Uh, with Bhutan, we're just going to... I think we stack wiped him. He still has a navy. Um, probably just going to pay the diplomat points to conquer this. As soon as he's willing to accept. This army... Um, there's no more loot to be had. Let's just ferry them up to Palu. Um, down to 29 transports over there, but I've got a couple more over here. That is five heavies. Uh, this battle's probably not going to go well, so let's retreat from this as soon as we're allowed to on the 29th. Yeah, we lost two lights. That's fine. So we're going to slow down our siege here a little bit. We can take tech. Let's go ahead and take diplo tech. It's fine. Um, so if this guy's not willing to accept a separate piece vassaliza uh, not vassalization, conquest. With full... um. Full influence ideas, I think we we definitely just pay the Dipple points to separate piece him. We don't care about the aggressive expansion. I think we're pretty much past that point. Hey, another core is out of the way. Maybe it's possible if we just sit not overextended for a while, we can get Sambal Poor to stop being a problem. Alternatively, I could hire... Let's see, this is what? 10 and 15, that's 25. They'd be slightly over, but then I could revoke and give them money. We could get a half price level three theologian. I think I could afford to pay for that. The massacre orders have anything that they're not supposed to right now? I'm sure they do. Let's just look and see. Do they have any estuaries? They've got coastline, which is not ideal, but. Not awful. 331, 221, 332. Or 42 with silk is not good. Chinaware, 554, 3333. Three. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that silk province we should revoke. Let's take that away. That puts them at 74, which is less than what I need, so that's great. So now we can go Inquisitor first to get them above 80, then a Minister to get the half price guy since they're above 80, and then they're still below 99. Sorry, below 100. Which is great, we don't even have to give him a gift. And then, yeah, we'll hire that half-price level 3 guy. Takes care of our rebels in both places, for the most part. Um, just have to do something up here in Hotan. Province of Hotan. This army... apparently needs a leader. Put that guy there. How far over the limit are we? That should be enough. Let's get our fearless leader here. You guys aren't doing anything, so let's just have them suppress up in this area. That should be that problem gone. That problem gone. That problem gone. Nine months away. Cool. Alright, good. So, uh, focus all of our attention on this war. What am I trying to do down here? Let's see. Majapahit. I want, I want one province for Sunda. I'm going to create a subject. I think. And then we'll use Sunda to reconquest. And then we'll end up taking one province and then tributarying the rest, because there's... Well, he does have a bunch of grasslands. I don't know, I have to eat all of this over the next little while, but... The lowest, crappiest province that we could take from this guy is... Kendal. Kendal is not a Sunda core, though. So the crappiest, lowest development Sunda core is going to be... Kawali. Which is also a fort, which also makes the next war easier since he doesn't have any forts. Perfect. Alright, so we'll take Kowali. As soon as that falls. Knowledge sharing ends with somebody. Well, I do need money, so... Offer knowledge sharing. To whom? I mean... Really anyone who has money, right? I don't care. Parangarang, you can have some money, okay? And we've won the siege of Kowali, so... If you are willing to accept, let's first off murder your army, because it'll make you more willing to accept. Holy War on Uzbek. Alright, the only thing I want is Kowali. He says no. Okay, how about now? He still says no. Well then, f fine. Fair, fair enough. Uh, let's send the army with the leader that way. Let's send this guy, split, 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 to here, 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 here. We'll see. We'll see what you have to say about this. Meanwhile, this navy is gonna make a dash and try to get over there. 
It appears that our guy is also indulgent. Excellent, he's a cruel, conquering, indulgent man. We have some fantastic traits right now on these leaders. Royal marriage with Punjab, the subject is over. I want to get to war with Ming so we don't miss out on this Elan 15% morale of armies bonus. Alright, sir. Seriously. Like, thank you. Alright, good. So, all I really care about is that one province. Money would be nice, since we do have debt. War reps. I don't really want a long truce, but some war reps, possibly? I don't know, you're kind of weak. Let's just take the province and nothing else. Let's try to keep the truces real short. Keep my options open. Alright, so that takes care of that. This army is now black flagged. It'll all go to here. And this province, I'm not going to do anything with for now. In fact, I can just raise autonomy here, so that's not an issue, because it's going to become the capital of my new subject. And beyond that now, we're going to go talk to you, and... Let's actually try to send this whole navy this way. Merchants have been slandered by Ming as well. Awesome. Cool. It's very nice of you, Ming. We've found five heavies owned by Kutai, and my entire navy has engaged them. Come on, morale swarm. Morale swarm. We've captured a heavy. Cool. Yep, that worked just fine. Okay, with Bhutan, I want to... We'll annex him. Take all his money. He'll accept. Good. Done. This one I need to... I don't need to keep, but I need to hold on to until I can get a claim on Makassar. So I could... Um... Yeah, so let's say I keep it long enough to get a claim on Makassar, then I declare my war on Makassar after returning the province. And then once I own this, I think, if I remember correctly, sea tile adjacency is not good enough. I won't be able to make him into a tributary. Which is annoying. But I'm going to have colonial ideas soon, so I can just colonize Kandari, mass uh, tributarium. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's not waste the monarch points coring this. In fact, same thing. I'll just, you know, whatever. Raise autonomy and not worry about it anymore. Uh, this army is going to go to, actually, to Palu, and you guys can head over to this way. This army is going to actually just march this way and go up to, I guess, Rokan for now. So that it's a little bit closer. Actually, I can march it to Siak across there, up into here, and get it pretty close to my own land. We can get all the way up to Thalang. That'll be fine. Alright, and then this army needs the three siege trip leader again. Let's put the three seed, the secondary leader here. You guys are just going to go straight across. It'll take 30 some six, 36 days or whatever to invade that. I don't want to do that. So let's just hop onto the boats and then dock up in Lahad, Datu, and then swarm down. Royal marriage from Punjab is fine. 522 queen, pretty cool. As soon as we dock up, I think we killed most of his heavies, right? He's down to just him. He's got three heavies left. I think I can send most of the light ships back. Have you go just straight down there. And we'll pull off six. We'll have two go to here. Two go to here. Two go to here. Let's pull like 33 of the light ships and have them go protect trade in, I think, Malacca is the place that makes the sense. Makes the senses. Makes, makes, sense. it's making the sensin. In the woodsin. With the meese and the moosin. Gain karma. Lose karma. We have negative six karma. I'm, I only declared this war to get that one grassland province and to get adjacency to this one and to start the process down here. So, we're going to take one province. That's negative karma. So we probably do need karma. So let's take karma. That was a reference to what was his name? I know his name, Brian Reagan. Many much moose in the meeson, in the woods. In he does have an army, so he's probably marched it around into the fog of war or something over here, or I don't know, maybe he's invaded my capital. I'm not sure. We have Multani separatists in Sind. Um, the rebels are pretty much taken care of, although Sambalpur is now back up to 0.3 unrest due to war exhaustion. The burgers are still pissed. All right, fair enough. Um, and because I raised my overextension. But that's going to go away as soon as we do this peace deal. Tributary Unix. 
Such dedication is exemplary. Gain a skill to half price yearly inflation advisor. That's cool. I'm not gonna hire him right now because you know I I don't want to, but that's still cool of them. Nice, we get to isolate the three heavies from the other ships. That's great. Got a defender's desert. Kill the heavies. In fact, we captured two of the heavies. Nice, we have heavies now. Nito. Now that we have all of his heavies taken care of or dealt with, let's send all of the light ships back to protecting in places. I still have not paid off my loans. I'm also keeping one of my diplomats just sitting around being lazy. Need to occupy that fort before he's willing to accept. Somehow my idiot army managed to march through Kowali instead of marching around, even though I told him not to. Awesome. It's just transports, so let's just pull the transport fleet off then and have them auto-transport the army to... I really want to flood Ming, so we're going to come in from this area mostly, but we need to get up onto his capital for the Take Mandate of Heaven CB. I don't know that I'll be able to beat his navy. So let's just auto-transport this army to, like, here for now. And these guys... I want to stop suppressing soon, I want to just drill them. This army can march a little bit closer. Let's have them head over adjacent. Do something with them soon. One last siege, come on guy. Come on guy! Uh, phase progress from not being blockaded. I don't have enough ships to blockade without all of the transports, apparently. Because it's a 32 development province and we only have 6 sail speed. Uh, here, let's stop in this sea tile. If I go down to 25, I can pull 13. Um, Let's go down to 13 transports and we'll just ship over the army in two batches. We'll send these 18 ships up here without auto transport on. That way I can... And the war a little bit quicker, let the war exhaustion tick down. I mean, it could still just fall anyway. Hey, there we go, never mind. I've changed my mind. Everyone, undo what you did. Instantaneous peace deal to get rid of the war exhaustion. We do... I'm taking Terracan. I don't need any other adjacencies. It's the only other grassland. I'll need to improve relations to make him a tributary. Take all of his money. Um, I could just force tributary, but that's Diplo points. Transfer trade, sure. Uh... Give up claims in Luwu. I don't care about his claims in Luwu. Uh, end rivalry for, for some prestige gain. Or actually just end the alliance. That'd be better. That's fine. Okay, we core that. We're at peace. Um, I'm at 7 out of 7 relations, so I don't really want to release this guy yet. I need to start spying on Makassar. Although I do want the 10 years to go by quickly, because I'm going to have to start integrating this guy. I don't know. I've got to... I've got to get this integration of Gujarat done. Then who's the other guy that I'm allowed to integrate already? I can also integrate... Punjab. Punjab is... 628 dip. So he's actually slightly larger than Gujarat. Do I need to integrate him? I do not. He's farmlands. So we could just ignore Punjab. Hmm. Well, these troops are all going to go to here. I don't care about the autonomy in this area. Although I do have humanist and all that other stuff, so the interest is kind of ridiculously small. For now, let's park that army there. Let's have these heavies go to... join the transports. They'll stick with the transports, since they're all the same sail speed. Let's just start spying on Makassar. And we have 13 months of war exhaustion to bleed off. Let's have these guys head up to Begu. I don't like that I'm like constantly losing money. My army maintenance is just really high after bloating up that infantry count. 52 ducats a month on 93. Half my economy goes to it. Also, we have our forts. Interest on our loans. State maintenance. Do I have edicts on? I do have a missionary edict on for some reason. Let's get rid of that. Uh, the trade edict in the capital, I think, usually makes sense. Okay, so... These guys can just drill in place, which will also lower unrest, while also letting them get some value out of 
standing around while I'm waiting for the transports. The suppression up here is taken care of. This army I had in position maybe for the Timurids, but then I gave myself a truce. Afghanistan has no cores on Trenzolchana. Trenzolchana! Um... I don't have a truce with Sindh. If we're not going to attack westward, let's uh, send this army south. Let's pull the diplomat back from Ming for a moment. See if we can get a threat in on Sindh. He doesn't have any other grasslands, so the extra aggressive expansion is kind of pointless, but just the fact that I can do it makes me want to do it. We've got a Dundari claim, Marwari claim, or the Punjab. Punjab's an actual vassal. So we should do his claims. Molten itself is a good one. Let's just, yeah, let's just go nuts. I'll take Molten, please. Oh, he says no! Looks like we need more infantry. We have room for another nine. I am so strong, be afraid. Don't worry, we're gonna get money from the Ming. Also, these heavies, um... Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna need... Well, maybe I'll need them to invade Korea and, uh, Japan. For now, I'm just gonna mothball them. Mothball... Just the heavies. This army can get up into here. And I think I'm going to auto-transport you home as well. Let's go back to spying on the Ming. Since we have adjacency to Ming, we don't need claims, because we've got that Take Mandate of Heaven CB. We're about to be able to take Miltech 14. Uh, no one else has it, so this would be a great timing attack against him. Infantry fire plus 0.3 means that our, our infantry are going to be just super strong. His mandate is also decreasing due to non-tributaries, and he's below 50, so... That's actually also maybe even an argument to just wait a bit until it decays more. In 10 months, it goes down by 0.7, so... In theory, in 10 years, he'll be down by another 7, making him take even more damage. But I think we're good. I think with Elan, we can probably beat him. Maybe we should even wait for this, uh, this tech timing attack. I can store up to 1174. No, I can store up to 1096. And in another year, the price will be reduced by 60. Well, not quite 60. 54 because of the institution penalty growing by 1%. So in like two years, I could theoretically do it. Right, because the price will be like 1174 minus like roughly 60, puts it at about 1114. And I can't store that much yet. It'd be close. Within two years, I could have Tech 14. I think we just attack without Tech 14, though. I don't want to wait two years. Maybe one year, just to get the war exhaustion down, but not two. If we just save the military points, and then a year into the war with Ming, we'll gain Tech, and then suddenly crush his face. That would be glorious, wouldn't it? Alright, I'm gonna come back. Wait for just a couple more of these guys to be trained. Let's come back from Makassar this time. It also gives me more time to spy on Ming if I do that. I want the threat for the estuary. Which was Molten. Threaten war for Molten. He's even less interested in doing it now. Huh. That's odd. Oh well. I'll, I'll take something since I'm not going to be declaring war this direction. Just give me a province. Um, any other claims from this guy? Dundar is already a tributary. Gujarat has... Claims only on the guy that we have a truce with from the previous threat. But that, that truce is already almost up. Bahmanis was close to accepting a threat before, but not quite. Is he willing to accept a threat now? Yes. I believe there's at least a couple more grassland provinces in here. Question is, are they my tributaries that have the claims? Or could we... Threaten for that core, just for the sake of having it. What do I own personally? 
I do personally border him here, and that is a grassland province. But I don't have a claim on it. So the only things I can threaten him for are for my subjects. Which means I should either spy for the claim on Raipur or try to get back the Gujarati thing. Let's just take the Gujarati core. And then we can go back to spying on Mr. Makassar. I thought you said you weren't going to be suffering attrition here. Hmm. That's one province off, apparently. That of the supply limit has changed. Let's get, like, a higher maneuver guy there. Get these guys docked up. Put that leader in here. Have him go join him. I think for now we mothball the transports. Okay, we have a massive infantry stack that's on suppression for no real reason anymore. Let's just have them go drill. And then we've got this army that's going to head not that way, but actually over to the border of the Ming. You go to the border of the Ming, you go to the... nearly the border of the Ming. So that's one, two, three, four. Three, four, plus the infantry stack. That's like the whole army. We're gonna flood in from the south. Um, and just, just gonna do it. We're gonna do it. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. I'll see you soon.